Hi, welcome back to my studio and today I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a print along. I've always been inspired by block prints ever since the first time I went to India and um, I was lucky enough to win a design award and part of the prize was a trip to India where I designed for Habitat. Um, it was really eye-opening experience and one of the places we went to was Bagru it, near Jaipur which was absolutely amazing and it's the centre for sort of Indian block print. I've got quite a big collection of old wooden print blocks, I'm just going to show you a few of them here. That one's a particularly old one that I brought back from India um, and I use them a lot in my designs and just for inspiration, for little motifs um, and I love the quality that a uh, a block print or a lino print or a rubber stamp gives. We've got two new designs that we've just launched. Um, this one is called Jyoti and this one is called Ashani. Um, uh, you might have seen them in English Home this month. Uh, and they were inspired by my trip to Sri Lanka last year where I saw quite a lot of block printed fabric but it was much more refined um, and finer than the Jaipuri block printing. It's quite different. Anyway, you don't have to have lots of fancy things to print fabric or um, wrapping paper or cards or anything. I'm going to um, show you some little printing ideas with sort of found objects. So that's a potato that I've just carved into a rough scallop shell. This is the um, a, a cardboard inner tube. It was, I think it's from a roll of bags. A little potato I've carved into a star. This is just a normal school eraser that I have carved out a little ladder shape so that'll make a pretty little dashy dotty stripe. And this, I think it had an old stamp on it at one point that has come off or decayed and I've just carved a little tiny sprig, it's a little bit like my cocoa sprig, um, from lino and stuck that on there. Just as you don't need lots of fancy printing blocks to, to print fabric or cards or wrapping paper you don't need lots of fancy um, printing ink either you can do it perfectly well with paint tester pot acrylic paint this is um, an ink pad that I've actually mixed up some indigo dye there and um, it, it was an old and quite dried up ink pad and then I've painted the indigo onto the surface so I can stamp with it really well so here I've used my um, little uh, school eraser with, that I've carved the edges out of to make a stripe and I'm going to fill it in with a little dot just using some acrylic paint and a very technical end of a paintbrush, the wrong end of the paintbrush and just put in some little random spots can use all sorts of things for printing. You don't have to worry about going and buying loads of fancy things. 